Hi guys, welcome back to another what I eat in a day video. Today I'm gonna be showing you everything that I eat in a day. I've lost almost 30 pounds now by portion control. I've just started going back to the gym. So really, really focused on diet, but not actually dieting. I have not cut any food groups out. I haven't restricted myself from anything. Basically, I've just tried to have smaller, smarter portions of what I enjoy eating and kind of tweaking things a little bit um, so I don't suffer. So be sure to subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos. I do them quite often and I've got an entire playlist that I will link up here if you would like to watch all of the videos and I will link it down below. Also, if you're curious to kind of figure out in general how many calories you should be eating a day, whether you're looking to lose, maintain, or gain weight, I will have links in the description as well. But let me show you what I made for lunch because it is delicious and I don't start eating until 12. And the reason I don't start eating until 12 is because I like to eat late at night. I would eat all day if you let me, so I need to start <laughs> a little bit later in the day. So this is actually, it smells so good. It is a the two ingredient dough that you've seen people make with bagels. I've done it before. I'll link the recipe down below that I've used in the past, but essentially you just mix together equal parts flour and um, Greek yogurt. I used just white flour. You can use like a healthier flour if you want. I don't know how it works in that case, but I'm already making my own dough, so you know, give me a break. And then I'm using the uh, zero fat Greek yogurt. I tend to put a smidge less Greek yogurt. So say today, I think I use 70 grams of flour and 65 grams of Greek yogurt just to have it less liquidy. So basically all you do is mix together your flour. I'll put in a little bit of baking powder, salt and pepper. And then I added in my Greek yogurt, mix that together, rolled it out into a pizza dough. And for this recipe, I did use my air fryer. You could use uh, an oven for sure, but I like to cook the dough first for the most part. So I put the dough in at like, I forget, you'll see it on the screen for about five minutes. Then I flipped it over, cooked it for another minute and took it out and then added my ingredients. So for the pasta sauce I used, or I used the pasta sauce for my pizza sauce because I didn't have any pizza, it's the same thing. This is mushroom and garlic blue menu. Then I used light mozzarella cheese uh, with a little bit of light cheddar and topped it with pepperoni and onions and green pepper. You can obviously put whatever you'd want on here and I would love to have some pineapple, but I don't have any because I believe pineapple belongs on pizza. Uh, and yeah, and then I just put it back in for another four or five minutes and I've done so many variations on pizza now. Uh, I did, what did I have? Oh, I had pizza in one of my last What I Eat In A Days and I cooked it on kind of like one of those low carb lavash breads. I've put it on pitas. I've made uh, all kinds of different recipes. The thing I like about this the most, I'll be it is a little higher calorie it's it's dough you know so it doesn't feel like you're sacrificing anything and you can make this as big or as small as you want based on you know how hungry you are how many calories etc and it is just it doesn't feel like a sacrificial pizza you know because my other pizzas are really good but it's obviously doesn't have that kind of thickness and doughiness so I really love it and simple I hate baking but this is like equal parts so I don't need to mess around and then on the side I just have some cucumber for added vegetables so yeah this is my lunch I'm super excited I'm just gonna have some water with this I did have a coffee with premier protein in it this morning and a peppermint tea but yeah now time for lunch so it is time for a little afternoon snack I'm actually getting ready to film a video and I went to a spin class this morning so uh, my appetite is a little up but I need something kind of quick so I'm just gonna make a smoothie so I'm just using some almond milk whey protein but I'm actually using this one the label is just off of it. it's the chocolate whey from the brand Kaizen and then I've talked about mini bananas are great if you generally don't eat a whole banana so because I always have them like going bad in the fridge adding some cocoa powder because protein powder is like never chocolatey enough and some ice so I kind of just want like a chocolate banana thing oh and I have spinach spinach for health and you can't really taste it so yeah i'm gonna blend this all up and have this as a kind of snack i guess So 
I just finished filming and I just finished up my smoothie. It took me forever to drink, but I'm definitely still hungry. I find on the days that I go to spin class or sometimes the days after, I definitely have a bit of a higher appetite. So I was gonna try and avoid snacking, but I really want something salty. So um, let me show you what I'm having. Kind of looks random and sad. Also black countertops are truly the worst thing in the world. But so starting off with these crackers, I see healthy people eating these all the time and I decided to try them and I love them. This is probably my fourth box. I got them first over Christmas and I ate a charcuterie for lunch like every day with these so these are gluten-free they're vegan they're also like uh, incredibly clean like when you look at the ingredients it's like organic brown rice quinoa flaxseed blah 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 but they actually taste really good like I love kind of like a seedy thing so I have oh, look at this black countertop so I have a serving of those vegetable cream cheese is like my obsession lately I've always loved it but gotten back into it and a pickle because I love pickles. So I'm gonna have this now as a snack and then I'll have dinner in a couple hours. Okay, I couldn't resist. I'm gonna have a couple of these. <laughs> Whoopsie, these are the sugar-free cola bottles. What is the brand of these? Candy people? I don't know. I find these at Winners, Home Sense, Marshall. Somebody told me you can actually get them at Shoppers Drug Mart as well near the pharmacy. Cause I guess they'd be good for people with sensitivities to uh, sugar or if you have diabetes. I, I don't know, I'm not recommending that. I'm not sure. Keep in mind with sugar-free candy is they can have a laxative-like effect. I have not had that issue, but something to keep in mind and just don't eat like a million at a time. Same as if they're like the high fiber ones, like the Smart Sweet. I'm gonna have in 30 grams, which is six of them, is 60 calories, so I'm gonna have a full serving. Yeah, hell yeah I am. These are sweetened with malitol, mal maltitol, and stevia, fat-free, gluten-free, and actually very good. These are probably the closest sugar-free substitute that I've tried to tasting like the original, and I loved cola bottles when I was a kid. Okay, this is the last thing I'm gonna have. I'm having a late dinner tonight because my boyfriend is out with a client and I generally eat my dinner later just because if I eat an early dinner at 5 p.m. I'm gonna snack all night so and I'm snacking right now but sometimes I don't end up snacking before dinner so that's how I like to do it I know some people like to like stop at 7 for me that is not enjoyable at all I'd rather just wait till 12 to eat but it's all about what works for you I think people kind of forget that and try and emulate what everybody else around them is doing as opposed to thinking about what works for them uh, and that is what works for me so yeah I'm gonna have me some cola bottles okay so it is time for dinner i did while i was just editing my video have an emergency this is the new tangerine flavor so good i love the original flavor but basically this has vitamin c uh vitamin uh, b it's got all kinds of good things in there so kind of like a supplement it's a horrible time of year i'm getting ready to travel so i'm trying to protect myself uh, and i love the flavor so for dinner tonight, I'm having some cod with a coconut curry sauce. I kind of made this up over Christmas. So for the sauce, I'm gonna use this light coconut milk, a little bit of brown sugar, some curry powder, and probably put in some of this Trader Joe's mushroom powder. I just kind of put it in everything. I buy this in Buffalo. I'm in Toronto, so we drive to Buffalo every couple months and go shopping. On the side, I'm gonna have some basmati. Oh, there it is some basmati rice. Uh, if you're low carb, you could have cauliflower rice or sometimes I mix together cauliflower rice and regular rice so that it's kind of a half and half tonight. I'm just having rice. And then I'm uh, gonna put some onion in the sauce as well and then also some broccoli. This is so good. I don't know how I came up with it, but uh, my boyfriend's parents were in town and I was like trying to cook better food than what we normally eat, <laughs> something a little bit uh, more snazzy. And yeah, I figured I would make it for myself again tonight. So let's get into it. And I'm just gonna put the cod in the air fryer. I find that's a good, easy way to cook it because I find sometimes when I cook cod in a frying pan, if you don't put enough oil in, if your pan's not non-stick enough, it kind of starts to like break apart and I want it to stay in like the filet kind of format. So I'm cooking this in the air fryer. Just gonna saute this in a pan and I'm also gonna cook the sauce in a pan too. So let's get started. So here is the finished product for dinner. I split the sauce that I made into three portions. I made a little extra rice so I can have leftovers, tons of broccoli, 
my cod and my rice and this is super super yummy you could always thicken the sauce if you want the first time I made it I thickened it with a little bit of cornstarch but tonight I thought I would leave it a little bit more saucy you could cook the broccoli in the sauce but I like to keep the sauce separately and then I can kind of pour it over everything so this is dinner and then I will come back and show you what I'm having as a sweet treat it's a really really new delicious ice cream that I discovered Okay, so to end off of my day, I'm having some of this sweet and nice ice cream. I was at Sobeys about a week ago and came across this guava and passion fruit. I love anything like tropical guava, passion fruit, and in Canada, buying the fresh fruit, it's almost always trash. So whenever we go to the Caribbean, we're always on the hunt for it. This brand is actually out of the Caribbean from Trinidad and Tobago, but... Tobago, but um, it's uh, kind of based in Canada now, which I thought was pretty cool. So I picked up the guava and passion fruit, and then they reached out because I was talking about it on Instagram, and they sent me the mango. There's also a pineapple coconut and a rum and raisin. I haven't tried those two yet. It's not like a lower calorie ice cream by any means, but the ingredients are actually like um, pretty uh, like on the simpler side. So I'm just gonna have like a smaller portion. I actually found that dinner really, really filling. The rice was so filling, and then you've got the coconut milk and stuff. So I just want like a little sweet treat here so I've got a little bit of the mango and a little bit of the passion fruit and they are so so yummy uh, like I said I got it at Sobeys and then it's available at a couple other grocery stores as well so that is the end of my what I eat in a day for today I hope you enjoyed this be sure to check out my other videos if you have yet to see my other what I eat in a day videos they will all be linked down below with plenty more to come so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye Bye.